हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल सीसा एकेडमी टुडे ऑनवर्ड्स वी आर स्टार्टिंग अ न्यू सीरीज ऑन सॉइल मैकेनिक्स दिस सीरीज इज़ वेरी हेल्पफुल दोज हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर अपकमिंग एग्जाम्स लाइक गेट आईएएस एंड अदर कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स व्हिच आर रिलेटेड टू सिविल इंजीनियरिंग सो द सीरीज विल बी हेल्ड लाइक फर्स्ट वी एक्सप्लेन सम कॉन्सेप्ट एंड एग्जाम्पल फ्रॉम प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन विच आर in gate as well as ies okay so this is the first video on origin of soil so let's get started so soil mechanics the term soil mechanics was coined by dr karl terzaghi terzaghi in 1925 who is also known as father of soil mechanics father of soil mechanics okay according to him soil mechanics is the branch of civil engineering which deals with the application of the principles of mechanics and hydraulics related to engineering problems of soil but what is soil soil is an unconsolidated material produced by weathering of rocks so unconsolidated means loose so soil is a loose material produced by weathering of rocks so here is a new term weathering what is weathering for example we take this as rock due to climatic agents like wind water etc this rock is this exposed rock is disintegrated into smaller particles which we call it as soil okay this process of breaking down the rock into smaller solid particles which we generally termed as weathering so in this weathering there are two types it may be physical weathering or chemical weathering the main difference between physical and chemical weathering is for any rock there will be a specific mineral composition so in this physical weathering the mineral composition will not change in any circumstances but in chemical weathering there will be change in mineral composition so this is the main reason uh, main difference between physical and chemical weathering so this physical weathering is due to wind water ice and alternate freezing and frost etc whereas this chemical weathering is due to chemical reaction between the rock and water like hydration oxidation carbonation etc so the rock is weathered and form soil so this produced soil is whether it will be transported or there itself so according to this soil is classified into two types they are 
transported soil and residual soil so transported soil means the produced soil is transported to somewhere then they are called transported soils if the soil is there where it originate then they are called residual soils in the coming lectures we talk about only transported soils so basically the soil mechanics the entire soil mechanics is is only dealing about transported soil mostly so in this transported soil there is sub classification based on transported agencies for example water wind ice gravity so these are the very important transported agencies so in water there are three types of water there will be still water there will be flowing water and there will be salt water like see so still water means like waters in water bodies like lakes flowing water means river water Uh, if the soil is transported by still water like lakes they are called lacustrine deposits if they are transported by flowing water like river water they are called alluvial soils alluvial soils or deposits if they are transported by c they are called marine deposits marine deposits okay so if the soil is transported by wind they are called eoline soils eoline soils if they are transported by ice they are called glacial deposits glacial deposits okay if they are transported by gravity they are called colluvial soils or deposits colluvial deposits there are some special soils like loam so these soils are very frequently asked in gate and ies that's why i want to tell you something about these soils so loam is a uh, kind of soil which have equal proportions of sand silt clay so loam is a soil which have equal proportions proportions of sand silt clay so the next soil is peat so it is a highly organic soil organic soil organic soil means it contains mostly or, or almost vegetative matter in it these are the two soils frequently asked in gate as well as ies okay so the first question is soil is transported by wind are known as so 
in the concept we said that if the soil is transported by wind they are called aeolian soils or deposits okay the next question is this is uh, this types of questions are generally asked in ies as well as gate we know that alluvial soils are deposited from suspension in running water so alluvial soils are transported by running water so alluvial soils will be transported by running water so c is 1 so answer should lies in b and d so na the next is peat we discuss about peat also peat is organic soil so b will be 4 so this or this will be chand so there are two options coincide so uh, from the first one alluvial soils we find that b or d will be answer from the second peat peat is organic soil so b should be 4 so from this we can surely said that d is our answer let's see another one marl so marl is a marine deposit so this will d will be 2 so this is our answer and do is is transported by wind so a will be 3 so our answer is d d is our answer okay next so same thing so this is from ies so like strain soils like strain soils are transported by lakes or still water so lux strain water fine 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 yeah so lakes so a will be 3 so there will be two chances either b or c next one alluvial soils alluvial soils are deposited by river or flowing water or flowing water so b should be 2 so b should be 2 okay so again b c will be the answer the next one is aeolian soils aeolian soils are transported by wind so c will be 1 so c will be 1 so from this from this we can surely said that b should be the answer but let's see uh, what will be the d so marine soils marine soils are deposited by sea water generally so d should be 4 okay so d should be 4 so this is our answer so our answer is b okay next our last question lux strain soils are soils so lux strain soils are uh, soils deposited by or uh, lake deposits or transported by lake or still what okay so the answer should be d so that's it for this video Thank you guys for watching this video please like and comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe for more updates on soil mechanics